In no particular order, here are some of the best camouflaged animals in the world. Number 9. Male Cuttlefish Cuttlefish started off because they're one of the best in the world at camouflage. The changing of skin texture is an impressive skill. Scientists have puzzled at their ability for years, but they're now a step closer to understanding. Cuttlefish can blend into their surroundings effortlessly. They can change their shape, color, and texture to blend in with pretty much any underwater scenery and encounters. And it can even camouflage itself in less familiar settings, such as against a checkerboard. BBC's Richard Hammond showed us that cuttlefish can also effortlessly blend into backgrounds they've never encountered before. Hammond designed an underwater living room set. He was able to show that cuttlefish can blend into checkerboard floors, striped walls, and a patterned couch. However, be thankful you're not a male cuttlefish, because some of the guys really have to be ingenious in order to find a partner. We've talked about this before in our Animals Who Are Evil Geniuses video, but it's worth talking about again. Because some male cuttlefish are too small to fight for a mate, they have to have a sneaky plan to get lady cuttlefish. In order to fool the larger guys, smaller male cuttlefish will disguise half of his body to look like a female to the male cuttlefish. He'll then use his other side to keep on displaying his male patterns to the female cuttlefish. That way, the larger male thinks he's in luck with two females. As long as the smaller male avoids being grabbed in the typical cuttlefish mating embrace, the smaller camouflaged male cuttlefish is safe. Meanwhile, the actual female, who isn't too picky, mates with the smaller, sneaky male right in front of the other larger male. Do us a big favor and hit the like button because it helps us out. Number 8. Leopard Flounder The next time you're hanging out under the sea in the Indo-Pacific region, keep a sharp eye out for the Leopard Flounder. But you'll have to look really close because these guys are masters of disguise and obviously they make a career out of hiding from other animals. Leopard flounders tend to hang out near the sandy bottoms of lagoons where they bury themselves when they are waiting to attack their food. But here's the really cool part. Their eyes sit on top of their heads, which they pretty much use as periscopes that rotate up to 180 degrees. So even if you can't see them, they can see you. What's also interesting is that their right eye have actually migrated to the left side of their head, and they can morph into this transparent-like state whenever they swim near the surface in order to avoid predators, kind of like that invisibility cloak from Harry Potter. Number 7. Southern Stargazer Found in the West Atlantic Ocean, as well as in lagoons, the Southern Stargazer's main method of disguise involves burrowing themselves into sand. They are able to keep their eyes and nostrils above sand in order to see and breathe. This allows them to ambush their prey, which is usually squid, octopus, and fish. Their name is kind of weird for something that lives underwater. They've probably never seen a star before. Anyways, even if they can't actually see stars, what they can do is amazingly disguise themselves in their surroundings from their predators. But the actual coolest part about these fish is their special pouch behind their eyes that contain an electric current. Whenever they feel threatened, they shoot out an electric current at around 50 volts that neutralizes their predator. Number 6. Reef Stonefish The reef stonefish is actually the most venomous fish in the world. As you can probably guess by its name, it lives in coral reef hanging around rocks and plants or resting on the seabed. This is kind of weird for a venomous fish because they tend to be very visible using flamboyant colors to warn enemies. The stonefish is usually brown or gray, but it can have areas of yellow, orange, or red. The reef stonefish is superbly camouflaged as it often looks like an encrusted rock or a lump of coral. It has stout dorsal fin spines that injects extremely poisonous venom into whatever it wants. This ambush predator hangs around waiting for a prey to approach. Instead of swimming away if disturbed, it erects 13 venomous sharp spines along its back with a potent neurotoxin. Despite the fact that reef stonefish are extremely venomous, people still keep it around as a pet. It's also sold for food as it's especially popular in Chinese restaurants and it's popular in Japan as well. If you're scuba diving, remember not to brush up against any coral. Number 5. Mimic Octopus the Mimic Octopus may just be the biggest trickster of the animal kingdom. 
They dupe predators with their extraordinary ability to camouflage itself as one of the many toxic fish or sea snakes that share its habitat. They often use a daredevil strategy to make themselves look like a predator, such as the lionfish or the sea snake, by adapting their movement and colors. The octopus's natural color is light brown beige, but it usually takes on a more noticeable hue of striped white and brown to scare off predators. Its ability to change shape is the reason it was named the Mimic Octopus, and that's its main defense besides camouflage. Even when motionless, octopus are still camouflaged and take the form of small sponges, tube worms, or colonial tunicates. If they're in need of a quick bite, they'll also use aggressive mimicry to approach weary prey, such as mimicking a crab as if they were a possible mate, only to eat it once it's close enough. Mimic octopus are known to imitate up to 15 species. So how exactly do they do that? They have special cells called chromatophores, which reflect light in a special way. That skill, coupled with their ability to take the shape of various objects and animals, helps to make the mimic octopus one of the best magicians in the animal kingdom. And speaking of magicians, you definitely want to check out our video on animals that actually self-destruct. It's crazy to see what female octopus will do after they lay their eggs. Number 4. Leafy Sea Dragon also known as Golter Sea Dragon, the Leafy Sea Dragon might sound like some sort of mythical creature found in a children's book. However, they're completely real and they're completely amazing at disguising themselves. Found off the coast of Australia, their leaf-like appearance make it pretty easy for them to blend in among seaweed, reefs, or whatever other sort of marine vegetation they're around under the sea. Also, they have these little pectoral fins that they use to swim around, which are basically invisible. So even when these guys are actually swimming around, they essentially just look like floating seaweed. However, they do suck at swimming, and if they do end up in a predator's crosshair, all bets are off. Generally speaking, they're too slow to swim to save for water. Plus, we're also having a hand in their destruction. Not only do we badly pollute the waters, leafy sea dragons are popular among aquarium owners. However, conservationists have fought back and have lobbied for laws that make it super expensive to own these creatures. Number 3. Walking Flower Mantis This predatory insect is also known as the walking flower mantis because, well, they look like a flower and they're a mantis. The orchid mantis is in fact a praying mantis, and surprise surprise, it got its name because of its resemblance to an orchid flower. With its four walking legs looking like flower petals and pretty colors, most people and insects are easily fooled into thinking that it's an actual flower. Most orchid mantises are white with soft or bright pink accents, just like a white orchid. Some mantises are completely white, while others are pink or mixed colors. The interesting thing is that they can change colors depending on their environment, and they can do it in a matter of days. It may look pretty, but the flower mantis has a trick under its leaves. It's, of course, actually a praying mantis trying to get a meal. This clever disguise serves a couple purposes, which is to eat something and also to stay hidden from predators. Posing as a flower, these mantises try to catch pollinating insects such as butterflies and bees. It deceives pollinating bugs into stopping by for a visit. Instead of collecting pollen and nectar, BAM! That guy just became a nice little meal for the mantis. Sometimes you eat the bear and sometimes the bear eats you. Number 2. Leaf-Tailed Gecko A few animal species already know how to go unnoticed by looking like a leaf. However, the leaf-tailed gecko might be the best at it out of them all. This reptile has built the best leaf disguise, which is done by clever coloration and light reflecting body modifications. Some species become indistinguishable from decaying leaves and others simply blend right into the tree bark. Leaf-tailed geckos move around the rainforest to feast on insects at night. They are native to Madagascar and the many little islands surrounding it. Just like their name suggests, these geckos have a flat, leaf-like tail that might even have notches to further give the illusion of a decaying leaf. This full costume gives the gecko excellent camouflage when they're basking in the branches during the day. One cool move they have is that they can voluntarily shed their tail in order to get away or even trick a predator. Leaf-tailed geckos come in a variety of colors including purple, orange, tan, yellow, and most commonly brown. And much like chameleons, they can change their skin color to match the background. Number 1. Great Horned Owl 
The Great Horned Owl is a true master of disguise. They're superbly camouflaged and they're adaptable hunters. That's because they have sharp hearing, great vision, tough-like ears, and powerful talents. Vigilant and resourceful, the Great Horned Owl could serve as an inspiration for a lot of people. They use their patience to go after the best opportunities. They can wait for hours on end for prey and even then, wait some more until the timing is just right. So how do they stay hidden? Their feathers break up their silhouettes, making them almost invisible to prey and predators. Their tufts help in camouflaging them by helping it blend in as it perches. They also have row after row of laterally arrayed dark bars on their bodies. This color pattern helps them blend in well with their surroundings, which is essential for both their hunting and roosting habits. Their perfectly engineered color pattern plus their nocturnal habits make them very hard to spot for even seasoned ornithologists. Interestingly enough, great horned owls are also unable to move their eyes, so instead, they turn their head. These owls can actually move their heads 270 degrees. Watch this next video to find out about animals that self-destruct.